everybody, welcome back to Chill Dad Reviews. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing the Corsair K100 RGB Optical Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. It's been a hot minute since I've reviewed a Corsair product on my channel, and we'll go into that in a little bit. If you're looking for a top-of-the-line premium gaming keyboard, then you're in the right place. Keep watching this video so you can learn all about it. Before I go into my spiel and all the details and features of this gaming product, I want to quickly talk about the last Corsair product that I reviewed on my channel. So over a year ago, I reviewed the Corsair M65 gaming mouse. And if you haven't seen that video, I will put that link up above and you can find it in the description. Just to summarize, I kind of trashed that M65 mouse. I said it was the worst gaming mouse ever. A ton of people were so frustrated and angry because I said it was the worst gaming mouse. I had a lot of views. I mean, it did pretty well, but a lot of people weren't happy of what I had to say about the mouse. Good thing about the internet and Free speech, I can say whatever I want, and that's how I felt. I was a little salty, a little bit harsh, maybe. However, I was just really mad on how Corsair didn't come a little more forthcoming with this issue. So that mouse had like a left button, like clicking issue. What would happen is if you press that left mouse button once, it would double click itself. It constantly did it, like it was brand new, like it literally did it out of the box. I'm telling you, a lot of other people had that same issue with that mouse. It wasn't just me, I wasn't making it up. I really just wanted a premium white themed mouse. As you can see here, I kind of have a white theme going. I really wanted to like the mouse. I was a little salty. It wasn't that great of a mouse. So yes, I maybe took it out a little bit on Corsair in that video. However, that's my opinion. Welcome to the internet. Other than that, I haven't bought a Corsair product since then, <laughs> to be honest with you. And it's not even because I'm like, oh, I hate Corsair. They've, you know, ruined my life or anything like that. I guess I just really never didn't really need anything. Now, as of making this video, the Corsair K100 runs for about $200 on Amazon. Now, that's not a budget-friendly price. And that might be a little bit too expensive for most people and we'll talk about whether it's worth that price later. One of the reasons why I purchased the K100 is for a black and white theme. I recently built a new gaming PC and went with like a Stormtrooper build and I think it pairs perfectly with it. Now let's quickly run down the specs of this gaming keyboard. This has a ton of RGBs. It has a dynamic per key RGB backlighting and a 44 zone three-sided light edge. It has a magnetic wrist pad and a USB 2.0 pass-through. Corsair says this is the most advanced gaming keyboard with a axe on hyper processing technology, which can boost up to 8,000 hertz of hyper polling and 4,000 hertz of key scanning, all while simultaneously being able to layer 20 different lighting effects. You also have a control wheel, which you can customize and perform different actions. There's a profile switch, a Windows lock button, and 6G macro keys, and volume and media controls. And the OPX key switches offer insanely fast input with just 1.0 millimeters of actuation distance. And Corsair claims these switches are tested for 150 million keystrokes. The K100 has a durable aluminum frame and the USB cable is completely wrapped in that braided material. So I swapped out the keycaps that comes with the Corsair K100 and I use the HyperX pudding keycaps. Now I got the white version of course because I want to keep that white theme on my setup. But what's really cool about these keycaps is it has a translucent little layer towards the bottom of the keycap and it allows the LEDs to kind of shine through and spill all over the place. I think it looks really awesome and I love the way it came out. Now the first time you hold this thing it has some weight it definitely feels really solid and well built and it look and feels premium i mean the frame is just really nice and i love the way they designed it it seems like it could hold up really well for many years to come and if you want to hear what this keyboard sounds like here it is Personally, I don't have any issues with the way this keyboard sounds. I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail on the IQ software because there's just so much to go over and this video would take forever. You can customize anything to your heart's content. I mean, you can set up so many different coloring schemes and lighting effects. You can set up any key to what you like, set up macros and all these other functions. The sky's the limit when it comes to customization here and you can almost do anything you want on the keyboard. If you're enjoying this video so far, please do me a solid, consider subscribing, smash that like button, put some comments below. It really helps out my channel and let's keep this video going. Now the IQ control wheel sounds like really awesome and functional. I don't 
find myself using it that often. To be honest with you, if I need something, I just click and use the mouse to get to it or the scroll wheel. I really use the heck out of the G keys. I mean, those are just great. It's right there. And I mainly use it for editing. I put in like a lot of keyboard shortcuts. That really makes my life a little bit easier when editing videos. I also use the volume rocker and then the mute button pretty often. I also appreciate the windows lock button because I can't tell you how many times I press that stupid windows key while gaming. All the keys and controls function really well and they're really responsive. Another cool thing about about IQ is they have a lot of integrations with some other devices and other companies and also into some games. For example, I have wallpaper engine running on my PC and depending on the type of wallpaper, there are some LED effects that are baked into it. And then you'll get the lighting effects on the keyboard that kind of matches the wallpaper. And also certain games will have their own LED effects and take over the whole keyboard. For instance, me and my son have been playing a lot of Core Keeper. It completely changes the color effects and lighting effects and it kind of blends in with the scene of what you're doing in the game. And if you want to see some of that core keeper gameplay i'll put it up above and in the description i know i've mentioned high performance and how fast the k100 is and i've been trying to think about how to interpret that through a video when it comes to these type of products and gaming accessories i feel like you need hands-on with it to really understand if it's something for you so to really show true input lag and the time it takes for the key to get pressed and then shoot that signal to your computer there's a couple of different ways to measure that you need like a really high speed camera you need a little bit of software you gotta do a little bit of calculations unfortunately i don't have a high speed camera to do that. So I can show you the actuation distance and how little effort it takes to push on a key. So I have my main camera here pointing at the WASD keys and I have my other camera pointed at the notepad on my computer. I also have OBS recording just as a backup. So I'm going to push on the WASD keys and you're going to see how little effort it takes for the keys to register. So I got my finger on the W key. I'm going to slowly press on it and registered. I'm going to do the A key just ever so slightly registered s key same thing barely any pressure on any of these keys and the d key boom as you just saw it doesn't take any effort for one of these keys to register and the technology is pretty cool if you think about it it has that optical laser in the key switches and that millisecond that it breaks it it instantly registers i know it's not true input lag but i'm telling you this keyboard is super fast now is it going to make you a better gamer i don't know probably not there's so many different factors when it comes to that type of stuff but anyway in my opinion it is instantaneous and i haven't had any issues in that department now even though the k100 is beautiful it performs insanely fast and all this other stuff there's been some issues and a few things we we need to talk about. One of the biggest issues I had with the K100 is freezing and crashing. About two to three weeks into using the keyboard, you know, obviously I was gaming, I was testing it out, and I was actually recording a little plug here. Don't forget to check out my Chill Dad gaming channel. However, while I was gaming and I recorded this, the keyboard completely shut off, like it had no input, it just froze, I couldn't do anything, and IQ had like a little error message that popped up that said IQ encountered a problem, blah, 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 blah. It had like a crash, and essentially I had to unplug the keyboard completely completely plug it back in to get it back up and running. I'm not sure what's going on, if that's a hardware or software problem. Like I said, I have a new PC. I have all the latest drivers, firmware. I mean, I've tried everything. I made sure the keyboard had the latest firmware. I also lowered down the Hertz. So from like 8,000 to 4,000, seeing if that was, you know, something to do with it. There is a warning that says when you use the higher Hertz, it does use like more CPU power or something like that. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with that, but it's a little concerning if this is gonna continue. That seems like a big issue if you're gonna be using a gaming keyboard and it and please shuts off on you. Another smaller issue, but on the control wheel, so you have to press that IQ button to flip through all your different functions. Whatever actions or functions you set up, you can change the order of those functions. I would think you should be able to like order the functions that you set up. I don't know why, like it's like predefined, like you can't move one from another spot. I don't, I don't know. It's really odd design. In my personal opinion, you should be able to adjust that if this is a really customizable keyboard. So is it worth that $200 price tag? I'm on the fence about it, to be honest with you. I mean, I love the way it looks. I mean, I think Corsair designed some really great looking products and the way they feel and look is just top notch. But man, they just always have these little weird things. I, I don't know what it is. Like that M65 gaming mouse that I had had that stupid left mouse button clicking issue. Now this one's crashing on me. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Like I... I don't know. Listen, if you get it on sale, if you have some extra money, it is definitely a beautiful premium looking keyboard. I mean, it looks absolutely gorgeous. I love the way it looks. I think it speaks for yourself in some of these clips I've shown you. I mean, you won't go wrong with putting this on your setup. Hopefully there's something weird going on with my setup and USB drivers or something crazy on why it's crashing randomly. Hoping that's the case. But anyway, it's still an awesome keyboard. It looks amazing. It's insanely fast. I mean, it takes the most tiniest bit of effort to push a key. It's crazy 
crazy how fast these keys work. I know I've said this in another video, but Corsair, if you ever see this damn video, please give us some more white themed gaming products. I promise you I will purchase it. Not all, but I will buy one. And I know the gaming community would love you for it. I just feel like the options are limited when it comes to white themed products. All right, I think that covers everything I had to say about the K100, except if you're interested in this product, don't forget to check out the link in the description. If you do decide to purchase this keyboard using my link, it does help support the channel at no cost to you. All right, everybody, I'm out of here. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.